There's an airplane traveling east at 200 miles an hour. That's called its airspeed. It is a vector measured from the plane with respect to the air around it. And the air's moving too, represented by this poster on top of the black ground. That's the wind speed, the velocity of the wind with respect to the ground below it. It's a vector also. Now we will put those two together and see what the plane is doing with respect to the black ground beneath it in combining the 200 mile an hour airspeed and the 50 mile an hour wind speed to get the ground speed. Now that's a vector equation right there. Airspeed plus wind speed equals ground speed. First you have the 200 miles an hour, it's all positive x, and the 50 miles an hour split into its two components, 50 cosine 60 degrees and 50 sine 60 degrees gives you those two values, 25 miles an hour and 43 miles an hour. The 25 miles an hour and 43 miles an hour replace the 50, so now we add the components, the x components added together give you 175 miles an hour, and there's only one y component. Draw the x component first, and then the y component from the head of the x component. Now the Pythagorean theorem. The square root of the quantity 175 squared plus 43 squared gives you about 180 miles per hour. And don't forget the direction. The inverse tangent of 43 over 175 gives you 13.8 degrees. In this case, it's the first quadrant. I don't have to do anything additional with the angle. But if it is in the second or third or fourth quadrant, that angle must represent the fact that it's in that quadrant.